Lacey, what are you doing, huh? Hmm? I have a kitty cat beside me. You wanna say hi? Wanna say hi? Say hello. First, you may be wondering, Jess, why are you dressed like this? We're having Red Ribbon Week this week at the school I'm student teaching in. Today was tie day, it was wear a tie, ha ha ha. Um, Monday it was wear orange for orange you glad we don't do drugs. Yesterday was red, white, and blue. Tomorrow it's wear green for go against gr drugs or something like that. And then Friday, it's glasses day. So, I wore a tie and it's actually a Harry Potter tie. I went all out. I found this at... Um, I found this at the costume store and I was really disappointed because they did not have my house. They had Gryffindor and Slytherin. They did not have Hufflepuff and I'm a Hufflepuff. They didn't have Ravenclaw either and it was either Gryffindor or Slytherin and this girl is not going to wear a Slytherin tie. And I even went and bought like a little white button up shirt. I just kind of went all out looking like a Hogwarts student. My kids loved it. Glasses I got for Friday are also Harry Potter glasses so going all out and I love it. So I just got back from school and I found my Sephora box sitting at my doorstep waiting for me. I feel like it's a little late because it's the 26th. Normally I get boxes way before that so let's open them up. I'm sorry if you can hear Khaleesi rummaging around on my coat. I'm sorry. I'm gonna use my keys to open this thing. Whoop, whoop. Normally I would have opened it and peeked inside already but I have not done that. I don't even know what's in here. I don't even know. Blind unboxing. The theme this year, or the, this month, excuse me, the cool cut. Interesting, the cool cut. Whatever that means, I guess you have to be cool. <laughs> Look what it says. It says lipstick and chill. Lipstick and chill. Man, if a man said that to me, I'd be like, okay, okay, let's go buy some lipstick then. Come on, open up. Okay, what's the first thing I'm pulling out? This is a Christoph Robin, and this is a regenerating mask with prickly pear seed oil, whatever that is. It's a rather large size, too. It's about... Um, doesn't say here. It's a cup. It's a big size though. It smells like baby powder. Interesting. I don't think I like that smell though. I don't want my face to smell like baby powder. I don't know. Not really into mask. I should get into mask though. Woo! Smashbox. This says this is the... So open up my cheat sheet here. This is the Smashbox Always On Matte Liquid Lipstick in Driver's Seat. I've always been really curious about these. I'm a little nervous though because it looks like it might be dried out. I don't know. Let's see here. Oh, nope, not dried out. No, no scent. Oh, very pretty color. Oh, I love that. The applicator is a very wide doe foot that tapers off to a tiny point. I love that. This is my kind of color. If I didn't have lipstick on, I would try this on, but I think I might wear this tomorrow. It's so pretty. It's like a nice mauve color. Interesting. It says it claims to have eight hour wear with the re water resistant non feathering formula. It's important for any lip product. Okay, what other goodies do we got? This is an interesting packaging. This is the Blink Mascara Amplified. And it looks like it's in like a tube you would get those travel size Tylenols in. Oh, and then you, and then it slides out. And then it's coated I'm not even going to waste my time trying to rip it out of the packaging. It's in there though. This looks like a battery. What did they do? You know what? I'm not going to waste my time with that. I'll try that later. I will try looking at that later. Alright, we got another large-ish product here. This is 
the belief, believe in truth, uh, true cream, increased hydration level. Um, bypass dryness with this lightweight gel cream made to tighten the look of skin and sink in for a smooth, supple feel. See, ooh. It looks like a large size, but I have a feeling it's just in the very top there. Ooh, it smells kind of interesting. It smells kind of cooling, though. Hmm. Intriguing. Lots of skincare stuff, I see. What's this? We got another skincare product. This is the Pure Revival Peel from Skin Ink. Comes this little package. And here is the sample. I'm not a fan of peels. I just, I'm not at that age yet where my skin needs a peel. And I feel like that's something for more like older skin types. Uh, it says it exfoliates as it repairs, maximizes absorption of nutrients, and primes your skin to create a perfect canvas for your makeup. Lastly, I have the perfume sample. Ooh, YS. Ooh, YSL, very nice. This is the Mon Paris by Yves Saint Laurent. Never try YSL products. Why is it half empty though? Like, why? Did they forget to put half the perfume in there? See what it smells like. Probably not going to like it. Hmm. It smells good, but at the same time, it smells weird. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. It's a very musty fragrance for me. It says it has. It's inspired by the love of. Inspired by a love for the sophistication of allure of Paris. The scent layers fruity and floral notes over a musky base. The blends are bergamot, pear, raspberry, strawberry. Um, jasmine, citrus blossom, musk, patchouli, and some word I cannot pronounce. I definitely smell, you know, it's the bergamot that's throwing me off. I don't hate it. Hmm, I'll use it. Don't think I'd buy it in the full size, but I'll use it. I'm not going to turn down a YSL product to play with. Definitely a night fragrance, though. Nighttime, special event type thing. That was my unboxing. What did you guys get? There's a lot of variation in this month's boxes. So if you got something different, comment below. I'm very curious to see what was in yours. Thumbs this video up if you like Harry Potter ties as much as I do. Um, and subscribe so you don't miss another video. I hope you all have a fabulous day. Thank you for watching. Bye now.